in the book, there are some very useful tips, I think, for young actors, which I found fascinating. One of them is, in a close-up, choose just one eye of the actor you're playing opposite. Yeah, and don't don't go from eye to eye. The reason I ch- you choose an eye is because in, in this shot now, the camera is obviously there shooting me. If I look at you with this eye into your other eye, you've lost me. If I look at you with this eye into that eye, this eye is in the camera. And if you want to play strong, don't blink. If you want to play weak, blink. I mean, don't deliberately blink, but just you can break it. But if you really want to play strong and you you just look at someone like that, this camera can see this eye and never change eyes. Only actors do that. People don't do that in real life. Although, as you say, if if you um, Hugh Grant, for example, he, he he's so someone. funny because he blinks all the time because he's always nervous. He can't get the girl, uh, uh, and 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 that is is a very clever actor, letting you know that he's not very strong and he's nervous and he's upset. If you're playing a, a serious character in a movie, you know, as I often do, you don't want to appear <laughs> nervous and upset. <laughs> And never, ever appear naked. No, no. Movie acting is about control. And you control. You People don't know that they're being controlled, but they're looking where I say you look, and they're listening to what I say, you know. Uh, and the minute you have a full front, not naked, it's full frontal naked, they immediately are not looking where you want them to look. And they are immediately having conversations with each other. They immediately start to talk, you know, about what, and, and they're making all sorts of comparisons if you're a man or a woman with rare breasts. And, uh, and, and so you've lost the concentration. At the t- uh, one of the things that started me on this was Robert Helpman, who was the, the head of the English ballet at the time of, of O Calcutta, which was a naked musical, you know, and it was a big thing, a naked musical. They said to Robert Helpman, um, um, would you ever do a, 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 a naked ballet? So he said, no. He said, why not? He said, because everything doesn't stop when the music does. And now I think that you know, is a very good reason, you know, because what he's saying is you lose the concentration. The concentration is when the music stops, you go, bang, you're done. If you're full frontal nude, you're still looking at the thing still moving, yeah. So never do full frontal nudity. And finally, which I'd never thought of, but it made perfect sense once once you said it, when people are playing a drunk scene, they often make the mistake, as you did originally, of acting drunk. And whereas, talking slurred. Yeah, yeah I, 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 when I was originally, I, I, I was supposed to be a drunk when I was a young actor, and I came in drunk, and the producer stopped it and said, what are you doing? I said, I'm drunk, sir. He said, I'm, I'm drunk in this scene. He said, I know you're drunk. He said, but you're not a drunk. He said, you're an actor trying to be drunk. I said, what? I, I don't know what you mean. He said, well, you're an actor who's trying to walk crooked and talk slurred. He said, a drunk is a man trying to walk straight and talk properly. Go out and do it again, which is sort of wonderful basis for movie acting, which is where you deal with the reality of, of, of it. You know, I, I mean, in a movie, in, in my impression is... What your 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 to be a good movie actor, if the audience is sitting there saying, "Oh, isn't Michael Caine a wonderful actor?" Then I've done it all wrong. They should be saying, "I wonder what's going to happen to Harry Brown now." You know, that's the difference. And that thing about drunk acting, there's a similar one which, again, I'd never thought of. That somebody who is tr- somebody who is crying is in fact someone who is trying no, not to cry. No, no, it's when men cry in particular. Uh, 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 um, men will do anything but cry you know and so they are all men when when you cry you must fight the tears and if you fight the tears the audience will cry for you thank you very much